Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi. Today I'm sharing a protein and fiber rich chila recipe made without wheat flour, maida or rava. Ideal as a filling meal for breakfast, lunch or for dinner. So let's get started with the recipe. Into a bowl, I'm adding in one medium sized onion finely chopped, two green chilies finely chopped and half inch ginger finely chopped. Green chilies you can increase or decrease as per your taste. One medium sized carrot finely chopped, one cup palak leaves finely chopped, three fourth cup basin flour also known as chickpea flour, one fourth cup sprouted ragi flour also known as finger millet, half teaspoon turmeric powder, half teaspoon jeera powder also known as roasted cumin powder one fourth teaspoon jeera also known as cumin seeds half teaspoon ajwain also known as carom seeds i'm gently crushing the ajwain and adding in so that the flavors are released one teaspoon pink himalayan salt or as needed and with my hand i'm mixing all this really well ragi or finger millet is a whole grain and it is completely gluten free it is rich in fiber and the high fiber helps to keep you feel fuller for a longer time thus it helps in weight loss and weight management. Into this I'm adding in one third cup water and I'm mixing it with my hand. The reason why I'm using sprouted ragi flour is that once ragi is sprouted the vitamin C levels tends to increase and leads to easy absorption of iron into the bloodstream. And once nicely mixed, the batter should be of a spreadable consistency. That is, you should be able to spread the batter with your thumb like this. So this is the consistency which you should be looking at. Now the best thing about this batter is that you can make ahead and store it in an airtight glass container and it will stay good in the refrigerator for a couple of days. So this way, this is an ideal way to meal prep. Once roughly mixed, I am adding in 1 fourth teaspoon of hing, also known as SFA powder. Asafoetida, jeera and ajwain will help with digestion so try not to skip it. Ragi is ideal to include in diabetic diet and it is also one of the very few natural sources of vitamin D. To make the chila I am heating my cast iron tawa and I am greasing it with wood pressed gingerly oil also known as sesame oil. Before adding the batter onto the tawa, make sure that you are mixing it really well. Once mixed, add about 1-2 to two ladle full of the batter onto the tawa and lightly spread it out into a round chila. Drizzle in half a teaspoon wood pressed sesame oil or you can use any wood pressed oil of your choice or even a to desi ghee. Cover and allow it to cook on low flame. Two minutes later, open the lid and carefully flip it over and allow that side to get cooked as well. It should take another couple of minutes. Remember the flame is on the lowest. Since I am using a cast iron tawa, heat retention is more. So the chila will get cooked really fast. My tawa is well seasoned. Hence uh, it will not stick to the tawa. Once that side is done, flip it over and serve to a plate. Repeat the same thing with the rest of the batter. Leftover batter can be stored in the refrigerator. The addition of a good source of healthy fat will help in better assimilation of vitamin D. You can enjoy the ragi chila with any side dish or even pickle of your choice. So guys do try this healthy ragi chila and let me know in the comments how it turned out. Thank you for watching and until next time take care. Bye bye.